Oh, hello everybody and welcome. Today I would like to do a preview of my new series, or what I'd like to do for my new series. What I'd like to do for my new series is a let's play on mechanism. So I've been basically this little test world to see whether or not I can do it. But the, but the actual world itself, I'm going to show you this straight away. So I might have to just grind a few mobs around because there's a few, whoops, like that one. There's a few of these uh, slimes around at the moment, which are being a bit of a pain. And we get lots of slime balls, and they're very noisy as well, so I need to find a way of quietening those down at the same time as ignoring them. So here is the world, and it's a little bit unusual. It's got bricks, and it's got yellow wool, and it's got blue wool, and it is this. So here we go. This can take so this is the Ordnance Survey map of Great Britain. Its dimensions are thirty-two thousand by fifty thousand fifty-two thousand. That's version two generated in September twenty fourteen. So we're in Southampton, next to the M two motorway, and the terrain is populated with trees and ores and enabled gameplay, I guess that is. So we got copyright notice for the Crown. 2014 and ordnance survey data so if we actually go and have a look here if you look at the map in the journey map let's press J to do a bigger one you'll see that it's actually an ordnance survey map in fact it goes down I think this is the Isle of Wight here or part of it I explored a little bit to see what it would look like and that's it for the map the only unusual thing about it is the ground level 32, not 64, as in normal maps. But we can quite happily mine and do things, build and survive. I'll show you a little bit of what I've been doing. A little bit of garden here, as I think I said. And here we've got a few mechanism machines. So we've got here, for example, a heat generator, which is the first machine you need to build to get power. And then the metallurgic infuser, and you need the metallurgic infuser to make anything. So, for example, has it got any power? Yes, it's full of power at the moment. 22k joules, and this one has got in it 106k joules. So, for example, we could make um, what's it called? An alloy. So, if I take one of these and an iron ingot, and let's take one charcoal and another iron ingot what we can do is we can do things like this so we can put the redstone in here and one of the iron ingots and then put them both in and that'll do work and use power from the from the generator I've got no more fuel than the generator I have to go and make some more and so we have an enriched alloy or we could do charcoal put the charcoal in here that then gets 20 carbon so one of these goes through, first of all, it gives you enriched iron, I think. Enriched iron. We put it through again. So we've got 10 carbon now and one iron. And that will give us steel. With the steel, we can start to make typical machines. And then I can put the steel in the furnace. So I've got some glass in here at the moment for other things. And the mods I'm using, basically, it's just mechanism. But, of course, there's one or two extra mods. So, for example, I've got Mine Factory reloaded in this mod pack. So, so we've got eight pages of Mine Factory reloaded items, which is quite a lot. Include, actually, these are Minecraft. Oh, uh, yes. That's better. I didn't think there was many. So three pages of mine factory loaded machines. And basically the idea of these machines is to complement mechanism. And what I don't want to do is I don't want to have mods which duplicate. So for example, mechanism's got a jetpack, so I don't need simple jetpacks and things like that. It's also got power cables, and then of course mine factory loaded does as well. But I will concentrate on using the mechanism to components as much as possible. 
So that's that one. The other the other mod I've got in is open blocks. Uh, there's three pages of this. So really I wanted that for the glider as much as anything else. Because there is a, a jetpack but it doesn't travel very well in terms of speed. It takes quite a long time. And the other mods I put in was Journey Map, Whaler and NEI and gravestones. So if you die they can get a gravestone generator which I hope you can dig up. I'm not sure it's the one I wanted but if it isn't then it'll, it'll do fine. So I've been mining. What I wasn't sure about from my perspective or from is do you like watching people mine? So for example here I've got a, a little bit of a mine set up here. I've been going through these tunnels looking for things that I could pick up and just keep going. But what I've discovered is that here is too near the spawn point or the world spawn point. And I haven't found any mechanism ores here yet. But I've been travelling around a bit, as you probably see. There's another slime at the end of the corridor somewhere. What time is it? It's still this daytime, so we can quickly go and have a look out. Get attacked by another two large slimes. As I said, these things are a pain. And you end up with a mass of slime balls, of course. Little ones don't matter, except for the fact they probably go to big ones, so we'll get rid of those. And this is 1710. I could have done a later version, but I don't think all the mods are about. So as you can see here, if I go this direction, I've been before. But if I go this way, it's where the other mine is. Look at this. Massive great big slam. So I must be in a lot of slime chunks at the moment, or maybe they're just enabled. Maybe I want to turn them off, I don't know. So I'm going to get attacked by this guy, so I have to bash him on. If I do it enough, he goes away. Right, it's gone. And then the smaller ones will also attack me, but I need to get rid of the, the larger ones, don't I? And we've got sheep. Red flowers, yellow flowers, sugar cane. It's an interesting colour, sugar cane, actually. And white flowers. These are actually ox oxide daisies. There's half a tree. I must have been if I've been that, done that, or is it a slime as creeper blew up and patched it in half? I'm not sure which. So somewhere about here I've got another mine, or the, uh, or an opening for another mine. I probably won't be able to find it, of course, because it's always difficult to find these things. In which case I'm going to have to rush back, otherwise I'm going to get attacked by all the mobs which are around. And they're actually quite tough mobs, because they've got, it's, I've got, because I've got a mechanism installed, they have the mechanism armour. And the mechanism armour is quite good. So they have reasonable health and uh, they also have mechanism weapons which is what I'll do next or the first thing when I actually start to to play this world for real. I just have to find my base again which should be over to the left here. There it is. keep jumping over the water so we got all sorts of things in, in this world so it looks really quite interesting well so if you've got any ideas or comments please let me know put them down and I'll, I'll have a go at doing them so back home safely with my little garden until next time or until I begin bye for now